Hi you guys, I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but I want to first I'll let everyone know I'm not trying to like clickbait or have anyone worry about me. I'm completely fine, spoiler alert, um, but I did have a little bit of a scare. Um, so yeah, before I get into the story and updating you guys on everything, um, I'm fine. The doctor, there's a cyst in my breast. Um, so I found a lump and there's a cyst in my breast. That is the end of the story. A cyst is completely normal to happen uh, and it's not anything to be worried about health lies. Um, it will go away on its own. It may grow bigger and then we might need to drain it. But um, before I like, I don't want to leave anyone in suspense and leave anyone worried about me. Uh, I'm going to try to make the title as like not scary or frightening because this was a frightening thing and yeah, I just uh, don't want anybody to be worried about me. I want you to know that I'm completely fine. Um, I'm healthy. I'm good. Um, but this week I had a comp like I was freaking out. I think Ryan took the news in a different way than me. Not that he wasn't concerned, but um, I don't know. You are taught your entire life to like check for lumps and I didn't know what the hell to do when I found a lump on Saturday. And so I was just freaking out. Um, so I guess I'm just going to tell you the story because um, it's very recent. Um, I just found out yesterday that it's a cyst and it's nothing to worry about um but it is breast cancer awareness month and um yeah i was completely terrified um because i mean i think it's a normal thing to be terrified whenever you find something um but i never knew what happens when you find a lump and what you actually are supposed to do um so i wanted to make this video to hopefully help anyone um just share my story update you guys on like what happened what i was going through um and also provide insight on what you're supposed to do when you find something and to remind you to give yourself a breast exam if i mean if you're a woman or a man give yourself the breast exams um so i'm just gonna do one take and upload the clip i'm not gonna edit this at all um because it's thursday night and I upload on Fridays um so yeah I feel like I don't need to edit this video it's just a pretty straightforward story hopefully it's helpful hopefully this reminds you to um give yourself breast exams if you're over the age of 40 to get mammograms um yeah so I'll just start from the beginning I regularly give myself breast exams I don't have a bra on. Hopefully there's no creeps watching this video. Um, regularly, routinely, maybe too routinely, maybe not, <laughs> give myself a breast exam. What I do is I raise my arm, sometimes in the shower, after the shower, take my two fingers, and I just feel around for lumps. So, on Saturday, I was doing my regular thing, and I found um, something that seemed not like my normal breast tissue talk to my mom about this I guess she has dense breast tissue I've always thought that I had dense breast breast tissue we've never really discussed our breast tissue together which is something I would encourage you to do with people in your family um, but I felt something that felt like a rock in my outer lower quadrant of my left breast so I'm touching my rock my cyst right now um and that was very concerning because it felt like a hard pebble and i immediately freak out luckily i have health insurance um and i have kaiser permanente health insurance which is expensive i don't know if it's like the best thing for me to do but it's great because i went online i scheduled uh right when i found the lump i thought never have felt anything like that before i'm immediately terrified um and sorry and um i went online and i set an appointment with the first doctor that i could find at the center that was really close to me um, and i found a nurse practitioner um the next business day so i think on Monday or Tuesday um, was like my first appointment. So I saw a nurse practitioner, told them that I had a lump. In retrospect, if this ever happens to you, I 
wish I would have been able to make an appointment with my OBGYN because the nurse practitioner was a guy and I don't think he'd ever given anyone a breast exam before in his life. Um, it was, he was super awkward. Um, this is like, I mean, I, I guess it's just not in his norm to give breast exams. Um, but yeah, he was really terrible at it. I said, here it is right here. Uh, you can feel the lump. Just, I was going there to get an order to go see a specialist. So um, you do kind of have to go to a general doctor, whether it be a nurse practitioner, your OBGYN. Hopefully your OBGYN knows how to give you a breast exam, right? Um, so that was like my the, the worst part of the thing. I was just like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, he did discuss getting a chest x-ray, um, but then after feeling decided to send me straight to get a mammogram. So I had orders to get a mammogram. Um, I'll try to spare the like, details where this was like sus suspenseful because I went to the doctor one day, had to wait the next afternoon to get a mammogram, but when I left the first doctor, they were like, yeah, we can't see you until 2020. And I was like, uh, no, that's not what we're gonna do here. So anyway, I, yeah, there was just some confusion there with the reception desk. So it was just, I was freaking out. Doctor, nurse practitioner says, yeah, there's a lump there. You need to get a mammogram. And I'm thinking, I'm 31 years old. 31 year olds don't get mammograms. That's not a normal thing to do. So I'm freaking out, um, of course. And so I get a mammogram, I think on Wednesday. Um, and the, oh, I wish I had my little stickers. Never got a mammogram before. Um, if you're watching this and in this similar situation, I guess I can describe what a mammogram was like because I don't know, pretty much there's just like these plates and they like smush your boob all around and take images of it. Um, I got a sticker to put right on the lump, one sticker to put on the lump that I showed them and then one sticker to put on my nipple. Uh, that's a mammogram and then they took a bunch of pictures of my mammogram and then it was in, that appointment was in the afternoon and I was then recommended to get an ultrasound. And I'm like, what's the point of the mammogram? Like if the mammogram didn't tell you anything, why am I here getting a mammogram? Anyway, um, so now I have to wait another 24 hours to get a breast ultrasound. Um, they couldn't get me in that same day. Um, which was annoying, uh, but before I got the mammogram and that night after I got the mammogram, I was so incredibly nervous and maybe it sounds silly to me right now, but I was just completely freaking out and I was of course looking up all the breast cancer statistics. So one in eight women will be diagnosed with some sort of cancer. That might, I, I don't remember the statistics, but whatever they were, they were freaking me out. Um, I was just going nuts because I don't know, you're, you're taught your entire life to like feel for lumps because lumps are bad and no one ever tells you like, oh, but if you find a lump, it might be something that's not too bad. I don't know, I just really, this entire week, I thought for sure I was a goner. I was thinking about my life and like, that it was gonna be over, which to me, I guess sounds funny to you. It might sound stupid, but I was just terrified, like absolutely terrified. And I have honestly never been so afraid, especially because I live my entire life assuming that I'm just gonna die. Like, I know that sounds really bad. I am constantly aware of my surroundings, very, um, aware of the fact that someone, any, any people are crazy, um, someone could hurt me, someone could try and hurt me or take me or do anything. I just live in a constant state of fear, but I'm always in fear on to my surroundings, like to the outside world is always gonna hurt me. And then this time it's like, what do I do when it's inside of me? And what do I do if it's like my own body that potentially kills me which if you think about it most people actually die because their own body deteriorates or they get sick or whatever um 
that's where my head was going. I think I need to see a therapist. <laughs> um, obviously I do, because uh, I do have a fear of death, like not to the point where it's debilitating, but to the point where I'm usually in fear of being killed. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, you can imagine, I, I don't know if anybody watching this has ever been through something similar and you can let me know if you had the same thoughts um but yeah that's where i was that's where my head was at that's why i didn't really work that much this week that's why i'm posting just one clip to youtube and sorry if this is a complete and utter unorganized chaotic video actually i'm not sorry i don't really care uh because i'm alive and well and there are um, other things to worry about um so yeah, I got my mammogram, then I had to wait another 24 hours to go back into the same place and get an ultrasound. They just couldn't see me day after day. Uh, and still at this point, I guess I was feeling a, a little bit better, um, but the only specialists that I had seen were the radiologist or like the person doing the sonogram. Um, sonogram? I don't know. Uh, people who couldn't tell me what was going on. So finally, when I got the ultrasound on my boobie, uh, I get the images taken and I'm seeing in, in the picture, like uh, I can see two like lumps, two, two things like this connected together, two black masses on the ultrasound. And you hear, uh, at least my mom told me that cancer has like fingers so it's like an oblong shape it's not a like single thing but i saw like one rock and i felt like a little rock a little rock um and but when i saw like two of them i was like is that like a finger i don't know so i just tried to not look at the ultrasound as it was happening the doctor comes in and right away he's like yeah so you have two small cysts they're uh, normal this happens they're just filled with fluid that's the black that you're seeing so you see like all the breast tissue on the ultrasound and then in the middle there's two little cysts cysts are non-cancerous um it's just fluid it's just fluid in my body But the doctor did say that I did the right thing by coming in because anytime you feel something, you want to immediately go in and or as soon as you can go in and get it checked out because you never know. You never freaking know. Um, yeah, so I guess I just wanted to share this with you because um, I, I don't know why I wanted to share it with you, but here I am. Um, uh, make sure that you're giving yourself breast exams. It is breast cancer awareness after all. Hopefully, um, if you were in the same boat as me, I feel like the curriculum at school now is a little bit different. Um, I watched other videos of people who made something like this where they had a little bit of a scare or found something, um, what they did after. And from one of them that I saw, it seemed as though the woman who giving this story had had some schooling like in school they were taught what to do and how to feel i never remember in school learning how to give myself a breast exam i also that was ages ago <laughs> um but also i had no idea that like i didn't know what to expect after and like what it could be could it be bad could it be good um uh, good not that assist is good um in comparison of course it is but you know what i mean i like always knew to look for a lump and then when finally i found a lump it's like oh shit this is really bad right um so yeah this uh i don't have much else to say that is my story give yourself a breast exam often get very comfortable with your breasts because boobs are freaking weird maybe it's just mine the dense breast tissue and all boobs are lumpy to begin with so it's confusing on what the fuck a lump feels like but if you're always giving yourself feeling yourself up and feeling your breast exam you can feel when there's a rock it was described in another video as 
a little rock in tapioca pudding. That's what my sis feels like. Hopefully it goes away on its own. Anyway, I think that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. I hope that, you know, the intro made it to let you know that I'm okay. I'm 100% okay. Mammogram confirmed it. Actually, I don't know what the frick the mammogram did. The ultrasound confirmed that I'm okay. It's gonna be fine. Anyway, check for lumps. If you got a lump, go to the doctor. And that's all. Hi, stay healthy. Life is precious and it's short. And I love you.